welcome this is here um, who moon lays in for the fire sign I want to say um, thank you for returning thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration um, I'm using a new deck and you guys can pick up the extended this is free I'm giving all you guys uh, um, the free uh, extended reading for the month of May and June so you guys can go pick it up okay all right so um, this is new this is going to be longer for YouTube but um, with the tarot card you're going to still get the extended but the extended um, for the month of May and June is going to be free and it's all online so go look what you were missing with the extended reading it's just dollar ninety nine so I want to say thank you uh, this is a reading for the Aries Leo and the Sagittarius and the Ophiosus okay so what we are seeing here um, because the Ophiosus are actually on the crying crying is the Ophiosus okay so crying is um, and this deck is new I'm so happy I've, I've found this deck because I've been looking for a deck like this I'm going to do a review on this deck I think it's one of the most beautiful um, beautiful deck and uh, I am definitely going to do uh, a review on this deck and um, first I'm using it and then I'm going to do the reviewing now the Aries so you Aries are in the first house the self the Leah's so, um, you guys are in the fifth house and the Sagittarians are in the ninth house now crying which is um, another planetary aspect they said it's just uh, um, a stone but crying is a is a planetary aspect now crying because we have the north node and the ascendance crying is the planet of healing okay and it has to do with the ninth house where you're looking and you're trying to find out inner wisdom and guidance so crying is healing and you of you so that is the people that is uh, born between um, the um, uh, November 29 and December 17 you are going to be in the house of healing okay and the house of healing is uh, um, we look at it as the ninth house but it can be um, in any one of these houses but the 12th house where the Capricorn is it can be the house of healing first we're going to be looking at all the 12 houses then we're going to be looking at the sun sign and the moon sign apart then we're going to be looking at the ascendance which is the outlook at life then we're going to be looking at your destiny the north node and then we're going to look at the mystery what is going to come up I advise everyone to try and download um, the extended because there with the Tarak you're going to be receiving more messages okay so let's check out for the fire element so we're calling up on um, the angels of light beam of the moon Archangel Anuel the goddess of the moon to come in and show us what is coming in for the first house so we have a cryon so healing for the self they and that is going to be for the Aries the Aries are going to be feeling this so, so you Aries are going to be feeling the healing coming in and some of you Aries come could be helping the rest out second house we have the aspect of Uranus so there is a change in um, definitely in your um, in um, your uh, assets in your materialistic world there is going to be changes so check out the extended reading to see what is going to be happening third house is the perceptionist where the energy of Taurus comes up this is the first time the Taurus comes up so you could be working on uh, with the Tauruses for the perceptionist for it house is your roots so this is about Mars you're going to be going up um, looking for your roots you're going to be taking action to find out who you are the fifth house is the house of the Leo's and you're going to be dealing with the Librans okay so the fifth house is the house of the Leo's you're definitely going to be dealing with the, the Librans the idolism and you Libran you Leo's are idolism then we have 
the Leo's coming up in the second house where some of you Leo's could be very creative in this time a very very creative seven house is relaxation and you're dealing with a cancer the the Dalum the Dalima the energy of the cancer so in the seventh house some of you could be going on vacation or going out with the cancers eight houses intimacy and there is Neptune um, <laughs> you're dreaming intimacy with Neptune oh my god you're dreaming okay the Aries come up in the night house and the ninth house is seeking okay and the Aries are going to be radically seeking um, information now the ninth house is the house of the Sagittarians okay the house of the seeking the house of finding out what you are the tenth house is the repetition your reputation in the world and the Gemini's are going to be coming in to work with you with your repetition in the world then the eight the eleven house is the edge you're coming to the edge so the Sagittarians it's going to be affecting the Sagittarians coming to the edge now if you are a Sagittarians with Capricorn um, a rising sign um, or a Sagittarians that has a Capricorn uh, cups Capricorn or um, a rising sign you Sagittarians uh, um, check out the earth sign reading okay because there is going to be um, issues um, by the earth sign that is going to affect you because the Capricorn got also the edge and you Sagittarians is coming at the edge with a voyage and yet still the 11th house is the edge but your house is the ninth house of seeking so we're going to go deeper and the 12th house for you fire sign um, the innovation comes in where you're going to be surrendering Wow so it's not bad because there is a lot there is less um, there is less pan planetary aspect um, coming in okay there is really less planetary aspect coming in you have cryon which is the healer um, and that is coming in the first house where we have the energy the first house is always the Aries okay so this is good and this is positive because what is going to be transpiring is that there's a lot of healing that is going to be coming in for you fire sign people then we have Uranus but Uranus is like breakthrough so some of you could be finding out something about your materialistic assets um, this is your car your house your things um, you're going to be awakening some of you could be finding out new technologies in this area so this is going to be good the other thing we have Mars and you're going to take action action you could be changing career you could be one to take action it's, it's as if it's time for you to start taking action Neptune the dreamer is coming up in the intimates so some of you could be dreaming to be in relationship with someone else or being intimate with someone else so let's go in and check out your reading so again the first house comes up and it's all about the self so it's going to be self healing that is coming up for you fire sign and this self healing is really going to affect the Aries because it's in your house so um, the self and the first house is the Aries so a lot of you Aries are going to be healing yourself and you're going to be helping other fire signs to also heal themselves so this is going to be good as we look at the second house the second house is uh, your asset is what you own is your materialistic world and there's going to be some breakthrough um, some of you could be um, surprised um, surprise surprise of you know unexpected money unexpected assets you could be um, receiving that your uh, someone died left you a lot of money and that sort of a thing and that is going to make a change in your assets in your world okay so it could be a payout from a legal so go and check out the extended reading because there you will find out what is transpiring in your second house of money materialistic world okay third out is a third house is a perception the perception of what you show the perception of how people see you and you have the 
the bombshell the Taurus love this you have a Taurus that is going to be helping you so this Taurus is an earth is a practical person but yet still this Taurus is about pleasure seeking so some of you could be connecting with the Taurus for pleasure seeking because it's a vacation period but this Taurus is going to be coming in and helping you so it's just going to be so wonderful so powerful so good so alive the Taurus is going to be making you feel alive and and change your percept um, your perception about the world and this is going to be good fourth house is the house of roots and the house of roots is uh, um, returning back to the family your background um, comfort cooking in a world you're going to be connecting real estate this is the roots the, the, the center the self care and um, rejuvenation um, that is the energy of the fourth house and with this energy what is happening is that Mars is going to come in action so you're going to be coming in action um, to, 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 to you know find the inner strength and the energy and the potential the willpower you're going to be finding the inner strength and the willpower to push through whatever the energies are and returning back to your roots bringing that balance into your, your world you know and this is going to be um, wonderful the fifth house is the house of uh, um, the Leos and this is just so powerful and so wonderful because for you Leos between the 15th of June and the 15th of July the 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 the, the, the idealistisma is going to come in the idealistis is going to come in and you guys are always either the same you know you're in the fifth house and it's all about pleasure it's all about the passion you hold the energy of this and you're going to be connected with the liberals and the liberals are going to be showing you um and you know the liberals i love the liberals because they're always either the same. they're always looking out of the box they're always thinking out of the box they're really um you know finding and looking through the veil of illusions and I love the liberals for that which is very very powerful and the liberals are going to be coming in your life to help you liberals um, I'm gonna do a video for each sign to tell you who connects to who but the liberals are going to be good for you guys and the reason why the liberals is going to be good for you guys is because um, you are connected to um, the the Leos and the Aquarians are the best um, possible compatible so you know connecting with the Librans they are going to be good for you now you Leos your effect is in the the sixth house and the sixth house is about creativity so you Librans are going to be creative you're the lovers the Leos are the lovers so you Leos are really really going to be creative um, the expensive creativity loving playfulness and warm over affection and that sort of a thing so it's going to be very good for you leos in the sixth house so you're going to be vibrating um in the sixth house you leos and this is going to be positive because um when you feel yourself um when you are in your own um existence and start to create you're going to make um, miracles happen okay and this is this is really good so for the, the six house the creativity that you Leo's especially in relationship you're going to be connecting with the right people in relationship and not only in relationship you're going to be collaborating with the right people and you're going to be creating something that is going to help in humanity the seventh house is the house of relaxation it's about going out with the friends it's about having fun um, the seventh house is good, but you're going to be um, connected with the cancer. So, what is going to be happening for um, you, fire sign, is that connected with the cancer is about nostalgia. You're going to be connected with friends, nostalgia, your intuition, rebirth, you know, the, the moods and swing, family. You're going to be finding relaxation um, in these people and these situations, going back. Um, um, to the beginning going back to people and places and really enjoying yourself connect reconnecting with friends of the past and some of you could be reconnecting with some cancers so in the pleasure moment it's going to be 
um, very good for you guys that is the seventh house and that is going to be very good because you're going to be um, feeling the energy of the cancers and working with the cancers because the cancers could be coming in your life as fire sign to help you with your emotional imbalance because that's where the cancers are very good to heal the emotions now the eight hours of intimacy and this is all about investing in relationship it's about the heart passion um, you know it's about you know dreaming of being with someone dreaming of the ideal partner to be intimate with um, finding the ideal partner to be intimate with but you're dreaming of this and by dreaming you're manifesting your ideal partner the partner that understand what you like and um, you know you are fulfilling their dreams and they're fulfilling your dreams in intimacy and this is going to be very wonderful and very positive so um, it's about dreaming um, the intimacy for you guys is about memories nostalgia going back remembering old relationship all um, um, affairs that you have <laughs> you know are you gonna be with someone it's all about you dreaming of something of the past in intimacy that you enjoy immensely so that's where you're going to be um, covering up yourself in that sort of a way where there was someone who really makes you feel good and uh, you're going back dreaming about this person and hoping and wishing that this person was in your life the ninth house is seeking and some of you are going to be going on some radical seeking the ninth house is the house of the Sagittarian but the, 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 the Sagittarians are going to be using the energy of the Aries um, some Sagittarius could be seeking out the Aries in relationship or seeking out the Aries to work with them or in collaboration so the night house is about seeking it's about seeking information wisdom understanding but you're going to be taking on the energy of uh, the Aries you could be working with the Aries so there is a lot that is going on for you fire sign in um, this full moon because when you're in the ninth house with the radical it is it's like seeking something it's like going to the depths to find out uh, some information and it's it, it's it's like really going beyond the illusion seeking information and going beyond the illusion so it, it, it's going to be just wonderful and just powerful the tenth house is the house of your reputation and with this house of the reputation we're seeing the Gemini's coming in and they comes in as the butterfly isn't this beautiful so the Gemini's are going to be coming in to connect with you guys and this is good because the tenth hours of repetition the Gemini's are going to be teaching you something and helping you and making sure that your repetition stands for you fire sign so this is really good so whatever it is for you fire signs the Gemini's are going to be coming in and helping you fire signs okay and the ten hours of repetition um, uh, it could be that you or the Gemini's could be coming in to help you guys but you could be helping the Gemini's to save their repetition so it, it, it's gonna be indifferent it's gonna be about curiosity communication being flexible collaboration with um, the Gemini's because the Gemini's are the ones who really connect with the Sagittarians so the Gemini's and the Sagittarians are like the best couples so some of you could be connecting with the Gemini's in relationship and this is going to be good so it's gonna be um, in the sense of your repetition this is really going to be good because you're gonna be finding out that the Gemini's are coming in really and you could be saving their repetition while they are saving your repetition for some people check out the extended reading you will know who are um, these people coming in now we're at the 11th house the 11th house of coming to the edge the 11th house of coming to the edge you Sagittarians are going to be coming to the edge you Sagittarians have to keep it um, 
you know when you come to the edge is when things is just going away okay it's with friendship it's with group creativity uh, so this could be happening at work that you guys are really so pissed off and you know it's it's, it's, it's about the the, 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 reb, uh, the 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 rebel within you because something isn't working and again if you're a Sagittarius Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart go check out the earth sign reading it is free um, um, if you want to check out the in-depth reading which is a dollar ninety-nine but go check out the earth sign reading because you Sagittarians have the same energy as the Capricorn coming to the edge and the Capricorns were there to help the rest where you could be coming to the edge but you could be also teaching the rest of these fire sign how to deal with um, when they're coming to the edge how to balance out this energy and this is really going to be powerful for you guys so be aware of what is transpiring in your world because uh, some of you Sagittarians are really going to be coming to the edge and this could be coming out between 15 of June to 15 of July so you need to check out the extended reading to see what exactly is going to be happening why you're going to be coming to the edge and who or who is this Sagittarius that is going to be pushing you to the edge um, so they will always come up in the reading so we're seeing the energy of the 12 house which is the house of surrender that you have come to at the end of a journey that you decide that it's not working and you're going to be surrendering something and it could be that you guys are going to be surrendering the Aquarians so if you're in a relationship with the Aquarians you guys could be surrendering this relationship ending this relationship the Leos and the Aquarians connect but yet still um, yeah the Leos and the Aquarians connect so some of you Leos could be releasing an Aquarian out of your life some of you Leos are releasing something that you have uh, um, spent time to manifest and it's not working out for you and you're going to be releasing this so some of you could be releasing an Aquarian some of you could be releasing something that you have created and it's not working for you so you're releasing this out of your life okay so it's wonderful it's beautiful it's really wonderful and it's really beautiful because now you guys are aware of what is going to be happening in your houses now you know what your houses are now you know what to expect in for yourself the passion the fun um, the intimacy who what it's all about dreaming for the intimacy so what are you going to be seeking out um, some of you could be seeking out an Aquarians especially the Sagittarians could be seeking out an Aquarians the Gemini are definitely going to be going after the Librans and uh, collaborating or seeking out or working together with the Librans so there is just so much that is going out check out the um, extended reading we're now going to be looking at the Sun sign people the moon sign people the ascendance people the North node people and the numerous people so let's see what's coming out for the sun sign people what is going to be affecting the sun sign people what is going to be affecting the moon sign people what is going to be the outlook the the ascendance the destiny oh that keep on coming out for the sun people okay so for the sun people which is the people who were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. what is transpiring for you the semi-sex style semi-sex style you're just going to allow things to happen you're not going to be pushing against the flow you're just going to be allowing things to happen not pushing against the flow understanding where you are accepting where you are and just being very much yourself you sun people okay so it's not about you trying to figure out what is going on and pushing against the flow of things you're just gonna let things flow you're just gonna let things flow and you're going to be okay when we look at the moon people the people who are full with feelings if you notice if you were born 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. you are very very sensitive intuition and sensitive it's all about the family for you guys okay and what is happening is that opposition of balance so you guys are going to be learning to balance okay um, 
so it could be fighting against but you're going to be learning to balance conflicts objection calling out and balancing situations in your life and this is going to be good because you're learning how to deal with certain aspects and certain situation in your life so this is going to be good so wonderful energies because um, the moon people are always emotion really really emotion the moon people takes up a lot of emotion and it is just really 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 emotion and this is going to be good as we look at the ascendance which is how you the outlook for you where um, you choose to go with the flow tuning in okay so you're not going to be pushing against the flow you're just going to be tuning in and just saying let me just go with the flow I'm not going to push against this if it's not working it's just not working I'm just gonna go with the flow I'm not going to be bothered about it I'm just gonna go with the flow and this is going to be good okay so your own outlook about this full moon uh, is that let me just go with the flow I am just gonna go with the flow and this is going to be good I'll be okay and this is going to be positive then we have the energy of the North moon, which is your destined for this full moon now the North moon is always about the destiny it's always about the direction that was destined for you the direction that you created for yourself and it's not going to be a really positive one because it's going to be you're trying to find your your true node and you it's confusing you're not sure what road what part to take because it's very confusing and this is what is going to be happening for um, uh, most of you so all you have to do is go with the flow let the puzzle fall in place it's like you can't fit the puzzle in that you can't find that piece of the puzzle it is it, you, you're just working against uh, um, the flow so let it go let it go it will come to you let it go don't push against the flow between now and um, the 15th of July just let it go um, whatever was meant to be will fall in place and the last energy that we have is the numerous and it is the unexpected now the numerous is the unknown the unable uh, the ESP the the psychic ability the cosmos the universe the truth the oneness the source um, the shadow work the inner knowing okay so this is um, a, 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 the square of challenges is coming up for you guys creation of tension sounding the alarm motivation pressing into the, the, the confusion okay so the, the unexpected challenges are going to be coming up for you um, fire sign people really unexpected challenges that you weren't aware of. these unexpected challenges are definitely going to be coming up and it is how you work this out it is how you're going to be dealing with these unexpected challenges that is going to be coming up and you can find this out um, if you check out the extern the extended um, reading um, you will know where the challenges are coming up and how to deal with these um, mysterious unexpected challenges that is coming up so um, ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you so much for being here um, please leave a message let me know how this reading and um, what you find from this reading um, um, to um, between this reading and the other reading which one of them um, you find more um, connected with you the extended reading for May and June is out the extended so uh, you don't have to pay for that it's a gift because I've changed up the reading um, so that's a gift ladies and gentlemen please leave a message um, it's all about healing for you guys it's all about connecting it's all about the reputation um, it's gonna be good for you guys there's some challenges that is coming up but just go with the flow don't fight against the flow and it will be okay for this full moon we're hoping the best but um, whatever it comes out we just have to learn to balance it and work with it as we go along so um, please like and share please go check out the free extended reading they are free I've released them um, today so that people can see what they were missing 
um because a lot of people were saying that the month reading and the moon readings is it gives so much information um a lot of people are really enjoying these moon reading but um um people are not knowing how to use the download link so i'm just giving a taste of it so you guys could know i want to wish you a really wonderful full moon um namaste